la 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 live. Hi friends, welcome back. We're gonna be watching Matilda the Musical today, yeah. which is exciting because I think I've seen the movie one time when I was very, very little. I just have this nightmare fodder of her being in a torture chamber with spikes. That's all I really remember. And then maybe she was flying around on a broomstick. I don't know if I'm combining things in my head, but that's what I have in my what head. What a Christmas movie. <laughs> and we're gonna be reviewing it today. We're gonna be going lightning today because we have to go watch Puss in Boots. Okay. We will make it, will trust make us. It. Okay. Um, so. Okay. Hi, welcome back. My name is Peter. I'm a real doctor and a real Disney fan, and we do this all the time on the internet. We're going to be watching Matilda the Musical. If you don't have your own copy, you should have it. It's going to be available on Netflix. You're going to sync your copy up with our time code down below, and then we're also going to make a highlight reel at the end. If you're watching this in the highlight reel, you can go click the link down below, and you're going to be checking out all the gooey goodness in the description, <laughs> in the prescription box below. And oh, today's yeah. going to be fun because I have my good friend who's with me today. Dale, I go by Dale's song here on social media, and I've never seen anything Matilda. Not the musical, not the original movie, not the 1996 movie, nothing. So... And he's gonna be reviewing it from a musical theater coach point of view. Yes, I'm a musical theater coach, uh, also real, real musical theater coach, real vocal coach on YouTube um, and in life. So I look forward to this. I don't know what the music is like. I know it had a good long run on Broadway, and I know people loved it. This was on Broadway? It was on Broadway. And also, and we are going. We just launched Enchanted, Disenchanted, Frozen yesterday, which was really fun. I hope you all check that one out. And then we also have Avatar. live streams for Avatar. It's coming out. We have a live stream for Frozen too. And then we also did the Santa Claus and Miracle on 34th Street. Miracle on 34th Street. So we've been churning, y'all. We've been churning. And I've been churning at the oven too because this is leftovers from Christmas Day, desserts that I made, pumpkin pie, my secret recipe. Um, uh, Title of my autobiography, My <laughs> Secret Recipe. And a cobbler with um, Granny Smith apples and, and cranberries. And a pie that has apples, red apples, um, dried mango, cranberries, and walnuts. So if you like any of that, here. Twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords a-leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a-milking, seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Go! A lot of our people... Oh, it is Willy Wonka! What? What did we click on? Oh, uh, he's famous for Willy Wonka most. Oh, so he knows his brand. Here's he his said ticket. to change Is the still world. Living? I'm not sure. It takes one person. It takes a little genius like Matilda. Oh. My mommy says I'm a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. You feel like you're at work? I, I'm stressing a little bit. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of erythema toxicum, which is the baby rash. Oh, yes. One day when I'm old, oh, look at face. I can be a soldier. Put you in the face. Try not to vomit on your brother. Try not to vomit on your brother. I know to say it's frightful fall. Oh, wow, this is great. <laughs> and the, the cameras are like from 1985. Oh wow, I wish this was the pediatric award. Nice color. This is amazing. A baby. <laughs> I'm not having a baby. What on earth gives you that idea? <laughs> I'm not listening to this. this we actually had a woman came come in and she had given birth and she didn't know she was pregnant. That's crazy, I've heard that happen. You're having a contraction. Contractions of a pregnant woman! <laughs> Good acting. Every life <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent! <laughs> should we recreate this? Yeah. In the hospital? Yes, you should. Good singer. Wow, is this what OR looks like? like no. The <laughs> most common thing in life is in life. life. A girl. <laughs> oh, you mean my son is a girl? <laughs> That's from South Pacific. You can't fool me. The coloring is immaculate. I love stuff like this. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wow. Let's be Berkeley. Oh, that's amazing! It's like the Zigzag Follies. Ever since the duck chopped my umbilical! <laughs> <laughs> this is a little too close to home! I'm supposed <laughs> to be on vacation! <laughs> Oh, excellent intro! <laughs> Who rhymes the word umbilical? <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, so that was Matilda's mother. Okay, I'm slow this morning. My daddy says I should learn to shut my pie hole. No one likes a smart mouth girl like me. I saw a TikTok video where she found out she's going to play Matilda. She's the sweetest little girl. Oh, she seems sweet. You look so peaceful, I didn't want to disturb you. But I just know your parents cannot wait to have you back home. Just love me at home. She's so good. It's a mobile library, I love that. He goes to school all the time, didn't you, boy? I'm a girl, I know, I don't. Well, where'd you get all the books from? From the library. Well, they're doing books now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> is this you? This is incredible. This is incredible. But haven't I got enough stress? What with all this debt you put us in? That I've put us in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've put us in. I love her accent. You expect me to escape like I'm some kind of flaming escape politics? <laughs> escape politics, is it? Well, I have a whole house to run. Dinners don't work away themselves, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. This love. script is perfect. It is. A couple words tells you the whole background. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we have school that one. Sort of oh, the Shauna Lynch. Lynch! Yeah. Being a business. Yeah. From The Woman King yeah. and James Bond. We love her. She's amazing. Matilda. Isn't princesses, it? Disney princesses. My name's Miss Honey. Oh, Miss Honey! Oh! We were wondering if you'd like to come to be school schooled. What's it like? School school. <laughs> I promise you, my class is just fun. I'll teach you all about history and. Music, Sold. Literature. I want her as a teacher. At school, we have loads of books full of stories. Oh man, I'm getting so nostalgic. Um, I know. How's that sound? Oh, she's getting tearful. I get to read on my own. This movie has How did the she potential. just come in the door, though? I mean, just walk in? Did you not see the whole scene with the doctors dancing and you're questioning how she entered a room? And you're gonna meet the trunch bowl. Trunch bowl. Used to compete in the Olympics. Yeah, throw in the hammer. Yeah, She is so looking forward to meeting you. Isn't it wild that, like, That's not bad. your entire childhood is determined by your caregivers? You have no say. No. That is unreal. That's why we protect children, because they're vulnerable. They never stood a chance, they were written that way. Innocent victims of their story. Was written in the stars before they even met. Oh, it's horrible. The endings are often a little bit boring. Her acting's incredible. Mm-hmm. Ooh. It's not Is really that her? her? Not her. Mm -hmm. They made her face the other way on purpose. They would have made her face forward. Yeah. Bear. Bear it. Mm. Good line. She gonna dye her hair? The coloring. Every day starts with the tick of a clock. All escapes start with the click of a lock. Whoa, great lyrics. You don't have to shout, cause if you're little, you can He looks like an Oompa Loompa. Yeah. I wonder how accurate the lyrics are to the original musical and the musicality and the orchestration. Doesn't mean that you just have to be She has wonderful rhythm. Really in in that rhythm vocally. Oh! Ingenious. Yes! <laughs> so good. Once upon a time, there was a great escapologist. He was so kind, and one day, he fell in love with an acrobat. How do kids just know how to go to school on their first day? 
Pinocchio, Matilda. Mm. Y'all, I was driven and I still could not. It was four blocks away and I'd be like, make a left, where? An escapologist who could escape from any lock and an acrobat who was so skilled, it seemed she could actually fly. People would come from miles around. Kings, queens, celebrities, and astronauts. Despite their love. <laughs> We have everything that the world has to offer, but not the one thing in the world we want most. We do not have a child. Mm. So it was. They decided to perform the most dangerous feat ever in the world, ever. Ever. It is the most dangerous feat ever in the world, ever. ever. I'm so gripping. Like, I'm gripped. The way she told that story. Mm hmm. School's open. I better go. But what about the rest of the story? I'll tell you the rest tomorrow. Be careful in there. Oh, I'm not worried. If people do scary things to you, you can just do scary things back. She's an Aries. <laughs> two wrongs don't make a right. Unless they do. In which case, you've just made a right out of two wrongs. Which is gonna be good. She'll learn. And so you think you're able to survive this mess by being a prince or a princess. You will soon see there's no escaping tragedy. I love that the rhythm here bounces a little it bit. It drives. Because your life as you know it is ancient history. And they have a lot of internal rhymes. Mm hmm Which is which is really great in lyrics. So I'm assuming this is not Miss Honey's school. I love that they got actually got children to do this. I think the musical is filled with children. We're prefects. We're here to take you to class. I already know the alphabet. You don't know the alphabet until we learn the alphabet. Oh, nice. Oh! Oh! We love this hallway choreography. It works. Tragedy! Effort! G! History. That is incredible! <laughs> Jail! <laughs> oh my gosh! A for Cage. That's how well they get their education. Oh, this is too o. good! What's Q? Q is, and then she has a W for Y? Curious! What was R? W and then they're in trouble. What? 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 That's not Z, it's Z. Are they gonna say Z? Z for Z. For Z! Oh! That is one of the best songs I've ever heard in my entire life! That is so creative! This is a core memory. Oh, you mean this, that you're making it? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant this is what your school was like. No, no, no. <laughs> now, who would like to polish off what's on the board? <laughs> Matilda, how about you? What I'm hoping is that you can all read the first chunk, then we'll just... Matilda, what are you doing? I'm polishing it off, <laughs> like you said. No, I, I meant polish it off. We say erase. Yeah, polish. Is maths your favorite thing? It's okay. What I really like is reading. It's like a holiday in your head. Mm -hmm. Which books did you read this week? Nicholas Nickleby, Jane Eyre, oh my gosh. Tess of the D'Urbervilles, <laughs> Mice and Men, The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> the whole thing. Miss Honey's I love, got some homework. I, I love that even Miss Honey pops in such a gray school. Mm -hmm. She's choosing. Maggots must not enter. <laughs> I'm still reflecting on that A through Z song. I'm gonna listen to that for the rest of 2023. I just want to catch all the letters. I didn't like R T. Are you? They probably said are you. Don't just stand there like a wet tissue. Get on with it. Yes, yes. Sorry. Don't treat Miss Honey that way. Matilda Wormwood. And Matilda Wormwood, daughter of Mr. Harry Wormwood. Excellent man. You warned me about the brat, though. 
No, Headmistress, I, I don't think... No. I... No, you do not. Emma Thompson? Yeah, I think it is. It's not sure. It is my belief that Matilda Wormwood is a genius. Haven't I just told you she is a gangster? My opinion that she should be placed in the top form with the 11-year-olds immediately. But what about the rules, honey? M Matilda Wormwood is an exception. An exception. Oh! Good. Sing a song. Please sing a song. Look. Yes! At my trophies, see how my trophies gleam in the sunlight, see how they shine. Champion 1959. As I stepped up to the circle, did I change my plan? Mm, what? As I started my spin, did I look at the view? Did I drift off and dream for a minute or two? Did I change my grunt from the grunt I have practiced for many a month? Nothing rhymes with months. I, I hope they start harmonizing. Oh, they're like a choir. You have to force the little squits. To squits. The line. Sing, Jenny. She does sing. Oh, let's look. Lashana Lynch is God's blessing to humankind. She's wonderful. <laughs> so is Emma Thompson. Oh, yes. Life's a ball. <laughs> This fella comes into the lot. Bear of a man wants a luxury car. Oh, lovely, but for Bear's drive. I love her outfit. Yes. All I've got to do is cut them in half, glue them together, and bubs your chipmunk. That is bad. <laughs> but isn't that illegal? Back, yuck in the little madam. Don't you back yuck me. I'll rip this book up in front of you. No, I it's a library book. hate when parents tell children don't talk back. Mm. That means the parent has no way to defend their position. Uh, this is glue, turbo glue. What's my hat? Here it is, Dad. You know what I'm thinking about? Hmm. The A through Z song. That transformed me as a human. Can you do telekinesis? It's where you have loads of brains. They squish out through your eyes. And you can move things with you your mind. Look. Move things. Oh, he's adorable. Yeah. You just don't really throw children. The big kids are just trying to scare you. You don't know scare till you've been in choking. How come she's allowed to wear a hat? Netflix! Someone poured a can of treacle on the tranquil's chair. She thinks I didn't, but I never. You'd better hide. Quick, blazon! Please don't tell the warrior! Wait, so if they all threw blazers, then who's not wearing a blazer? Over there, under those blazers. That wasn't even right. I know. Amanda Threat. <laughs> Yes, Miss Trenchville. <laughs> what have I said about? Stop picking favorites. Pigtails. But my mommy likes them. She says they make me look pretty. Well, your mother is a. What? <laughs> oh no! Oh. There's no way this is real. There's no way this is real. This isn't someone's imagination. Oh, she got the grouse. What'd you say? At least she what? No, no he said she got the grouse. The birds, oh. the birds. Oh. Keep him alive! Hit, hit. Oh, <laughs> that's such a weird scene! I and know. Honestly, it is bringing up a memory from my childhood. I do remember something. Not from me. Not, I no, no. I was never. I wore my pigtails down. Oh. The burning woman hurling through the air with, the... with dynamite in her hair. It was like the entire world had gathered I like this bee. 
story mm -hmm. and the, the dream sequences or the story sequences. The acrobat's evil steps. <laughs> a frightening woman who used to be an Olympic class hammer mm. thrower. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the burning woman hurling through the air has been cancelled. <gasps> what the hell went there for? Cancelled because my wife is pregnant. Oh, Matilda. Then suddenly, the audience jumped to its feet and roared in appreciation. Mm, interesting. I bet you we started the movie with a birth, and we're going to end the movie with the birth of this baby. Hmm. A contract. A contract? A contract you have signed to perform this feat. My hands are tied. The burning woman. With dynamite in her hair, over sharks and spiky objects, and caught by the men locked in a cage, will be performed. What? Well, what happened next? I don't know. How can you not know? It just comes to me in fizzes. Where is this coming from, Matilda? What do you mean? All I'm saying is, is everything all right? You could tell me. Well, I'd better go, Mrs. Phelps. Mum's waiting. Is she coming here? Can I meet her? Bye, Mrs. Phelps. Matilda, tomorrow I'm at the windmill. Okay, I'll find you. You know what's interesting? It's almost like she's using this story to process what's going on in her life, yeah, which is um, what art is. Love, and I'm artist too. And I'm noticing that I do the same thing with TikTok when I finish working. I like use art to process what's happening. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to bring in a selection of very clever books. If you have any questions, well, I shall do my best to answer them. <laughs> That's that sound. Oh. oh. <laughs> that is the biggest hug in the world. <laughs> I'm going to hug all the air out of me. What a touching little scene. Mm. Mm hmm. Touching. I was waiting for that. Think very carefully about what comes out of your mouth. Wormwood. 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 Did not. <laughs> He has a medical condition. <laughs> Burpopia. Oh no. This is definitely a kid's movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, she didn't. She didn't. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> All these workers are like, oh. Decrepit. All you have to do is eat every last crumb. If you perform this incredible feat, I promise you, more will be forgiven. But I can't eat at all. She's so good. The mistress will be sick. Who's so good? Uh, Emma Thompson. You made a pact with Satan and decided to steal my case. <laughs> what he made a pact with Satan? <laughs> The way these kids move. Yeah. I don't know what a TARDIS is. Oh, wow. <laughs> this movie's incredible. They love this Busby Berkeley stuff. So do we. I know. I'm so uncomfortable because... I don't know where the line is for child abuse. It's all abuse, Bruce. <laughs> I just, even showing it makes me feel very uncomfortable. Maybe that's the pediatrician in me. Or maybe other for people can just watch it and be like, ah, well, it's a lesson. It's a story. But it's a little bit painful. But at least it's a creative way of doing it. Eating a whole cake. Sure. You know, nothing. It still hurts me a nothing little bit. Nothing as graphic. <laughs> How did they film this? CGI. Go, Bruce! It's only way for C. Well, come along, bog trotter. What? That was the first part of your punishment. There's more. There's a second part. And the second part is Toki. I did it! Please! Not that! Please! No! We all saw it! I did it in front of everyone! 
Ah, uh, and they're moving the chairs for her. Mm. Come on, Bolch. No. If you don't like your job, then leave. She loves her job. What are you talking about? I guess. If people don't like you at your job, then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> these kids are too adorable. And it's also reminding all the parents and adults, big kids, what it was like to be a kid. Yeah. She's gonna sing, please. When I grow up, I will be brave enough to fight the creatures that you have to fight beneath the bed. When I grow up, just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it. Another reprise. Nothing will change. Just because I find Oh, the Shauna Lynch. Because <laughs> you know the best way to deal with bullies is tell someone. They thrive on silence. Tell a teacher. <coughs> <coughs> I wanted to say something about bullies. I guess it wasn't the time. <laughs> the moment the fuse was lit, the acrobat swung into the air. It's a long second. Stop. No! Was she okay? She did manage to live long enough to have their child. And so the poor little girl grew up with the meanest, cruelest, horriblest aunt you could possibly imagine! Let's call the police! It's just a story. What? This is so insightful because this is how you can get a window into a child's psychology. When you ask a child to draw a picture, if they draw like, you know, gashes and mm -hmm, stuff, mm -hmm. then it's almost like one for one correlated with trauma. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you can get to know a lot about what's going on at home yeah. based on how they draw pictures. Yeah, for sure. All I had was a load of old bangers, each with hundred thousand miles on them. I bought a drill. I attached it to the speedometer and whacked it in reverse. You cheated them. Well, you did. It wasn't right. It's the books, Harry. It's the books and the story. Books, is it? Good actors. Mm-hmm. But I'm angry. Yeah. <laughs> Little creep! But that night, yes, Capone just happened to come home early. That's 
What? What does that can mean? His anger was so great that other things around him were crumpling. <laughs> oh, they changed the lighting. They went from cool tones to... Mm -hmm. Oh! This class is full of rebels. And they need a real lesson. You see, Jenny, to teach the child, we must first break the child. No! Breaking <sighs> with the most disturbing scent. It is the odor of rebellion. It's the bouquet of dissent. Sports the merely rank from the revolting. With our insurgents, the stench of intent. Notice the class that she interrupted was music. Mm. Discipline, discipline for children who aren't listening for fiddlers who are fidgeting and whispering in history is temperate for the planet. Okay, so I'll ask my question here about Emma Thompson's singing. It's serviceable. It's, this is a patter song to begin with. She can carry a tune, she can communicate, and that's what's most important. It's also in character. Would you want this character to be singing beautifully? No, no. No. The rhythm was a bit... That's okay. ...lacking. It's okay. Sometimes you can sing against the rhythm or not with the rhythm, as long as the music itself has the rhythm, the scoring has rhythm. Now imagine a woods with a cottage, <laughs> and inside that cottage we find... Emma. Don't let them steal your <laughs> Don't let them take What? Away. Are we watching? <laughs> watching her mind. Is she in love with a parrot or a horse? But even rebellion could have a bit more growl to it. A bit more. It's staying here. Yeah, it's all spoken. She doesn't have the range. She can actually produce a decent tone every now and again. It's just, it's all to be spoken. Mm -hmm. Spoke son. All right, I'll Actually, eat my I, words. I never knew from her spoken voice that she would have this much voice to even give to a character like this, and she is. This isn't teaching. This is cruelty. How long has Miss Honey been there that she, this is the first time she's standing up? Do you want to hear my theory? Yeah. She's the acrobat and the, uh, the escapist, escapologist's daughter. Who? Miss Honey. Hmm. I know that there's a parallel story. A sniveling little. You. Ah. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. What? Me? No. No, I didn't. I didn't know. This is definitely the producer's son or something. Yeah. Well, they they focus on only like five kids. No, but he's getting so much he screen gets a lot time. Of screen time. He's so adorable. I am Matilda! <laughs> T-shirt. <laughs> I am Matilda, yeah. Dr. Disney. Yeah, I need to have that as a quote. <laughs> I love her for standing up for what's right. I'm not sure that I wonder if inside my head I'm just a bit different from some of my friends The noise in my head is incredibly loud And I just wish they'd stop my dad Oh, how do you do this on stage? She's perfect. She is great. Actress of the year. Like the sound of a page being turned in a book. Like the sound when you lie upside down in your bed. And though the people around me, their mouths are still moving.
That's the other t-shirt. I've got a new in my knickers. <laughs> Matilda, I need to show you something. If this trunchbull... Just please. watch, please. Hello? This is real? She made the cup fly in his trunchbull. I thought it was in her mind. I'm sorry? Matilda the ma magician? What? This is what the little boy's been trying to do. All right, we'll see how if we could recover from this. Because I was really vibing up until the superpower. Wow. They pay teachers really badly. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my father died when I was young. My aunt became my legal guardian. This one! I thought you meant Trunchbull! No! Oh, Miss Honey! Oh! Uh, that's why she's not sent to Chokey oh. herself. This roof keeps me dry when the rain falls. And this door helps to keep the cold at bay. On this chair, I can write my lessons. On this pillow, I can dream my nights away. And when it's cold outside, I feel no fear. Even in the winter storms, it isn't much, but it is enough for me. The bridge in this is going to destroy me. <laughs> this is my house. It isn't much, but it is enough. See? <laughs> and when it's cold, don't cry. No Please don't cry. <laughs> Up, up, up for me. It isn't much, but, but it, it is enough, enough for me. Oh, I, why do we do that? Because I mean, it finishes it off. It's beautiful. Lashana Lynch, we don't deserve you. Lashana Lynch, if you're seeing this, every scene <laughs> that you put on camera decimates your audience. The people in my story. I thought I was making it up, but it's real. Miss Honey, who's your aunt? My step aunt. Miss Trunchbull. He's a He's a He's a That's Emma Thompson too? Yeah. Wow, younger. she really transforms. Younger as, um. Do we have napkins? <laughs> no, we probably forget the napkins. Oh my lord. She's dangerous. So am I. Good for you. Mm. Oh, this story is elevated. The lyrics have lots of philosophical messages. Yeah, and I was like, I want to sing that at a cabaret. Mm. It, it took in my own little corner, in my own little it's chair. It's exactly what I thought and of. And put it on blast. It said, you want a chair? We got a home. <laughs> we got a shed. <laughs> Oh, the chokey! So I didn't Im imagine this. I did see this in my childhood, some thorns and stuff. It's this thing, this torture device. What? Oh, her? Yeah. Thank no, God. me. When I was a child and I saw this movie, I just remember that I was, it's trauma. Oh, that all these spikes and they put a child in there and I was like, what am I watching? The original movie. Yeah. Uh. Sorry, Mrs. Phelps, maybe not all stories have happy endings. Mm. Dude, this is really, it's communicating so much to me because when I take care of kids, I think of similar things. Like how would they write a story, draw a picture, color? Today we are going to have a spelling test. One single answer. Wrong. Chucky! You can't do that! Surprise, Chucky! Oh, there it is. Hi, trauma. Newt. N E W T. Newt. How do you know that? Miss Honey taught us. She's very good at teaching. You! Spell 
the one thing you all are. Maggots. Revolting. Revolting. I thought maggots too. R-E-C-O-L-T. You're cheating, pigtail! Oh, she's not cheating. I just taught them with kindness and patience and respect. How dare you bring those words into my classroom? <laughs> <laughs> Amchelicomanial septricolistimosis. But that's not even it's a word. Dark. It's not a word. Go to choking, Numino ultramicroscopic silicovacaniconiosis is a word. a word. Numino ultramicroscopic silicovacaniconiosis, even though the sound of it is something radicalous. E L A. I'm so sorry. It was a silent V. You're <laughs> going to choke me. Oh, not her. <laughs> I got it wrong, miss. You have to put me in Chokey too. What? Ooh, good strategy. Can't put us all in Chokey. Banana, G, T, A, A, G, 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 What the heck? I'm gonna have nightmares. Look, the chalk. <laughs> Who's doing it? Who? Tell me now. No one's doing it. It's a ghost. I will get you like you got me. Mm, no. I'm kind of bopped by the telekinesis because the story could have been without it. I'm just waiting for them to make it make sense. Yeah. Oh, she's giving her big tail. Ooh. This is my school now. Run. So how was Matilda as a college student? <laughs> Never again will she get the best of me. Beautiful. Nice voice. <laughs> That's a judge called bolting. Oh, this kid can dance! Wow, they all can. Oh, here's the part that went viral. Here we go. Wow. High school musical. <laughs> They really got all these kids to learn the choreo. Amazing. And to sing the song at the same time. It's not the soundtrack, but they're all singing at the same time. Revolting children living, revolting times. Sing revolting songs, using revolting rhymes. 2L, 2L8 for you. Too late for you. Too late for you. Please, Miss Honey, initiate a hug. Initiate a hug. Miss Honey. <gasps> Miss Honey! Mr. Wormwood, I, I would love to take Matilda. I beg your pardon? If she'd like to stay with me, that is. Is that what you want? You want to stay here with Miss Honey? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the mother. <laughs> Oh, I love when musical theater does that. Mm -hmm. They extend what you're expecting just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then one day I opened my eyes and looked up to find that the sky had turned blindingly blue. Quietly taking your stand. Quietly taking your stand. 
quietly holding my hand. You are holding my hand. We're duetting this song. <laughs> Piano, it's pretty. Wow. Can big oh, kids remember? also go to school? The swing. Oh, because she had her hair pulled? No. Oh. I thought that was symbolic of her being thrown around. So now mm -hmm. she's on that ride, and then she has the newt, so she's when on the When was the carousel. first time you did that ride? Disneyland? Mm -mm. Knott's Berry Farm? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, giraffe! giraffe. Wow. So, who takes care of all these animals? Did Netflix really build this? There's no way. Outside the uh, mansion. The mansion's real. Please hold each other's hands. All right, everyone, think about your rating as we go. Thank you so much for watching with us. We're going to be listening to the credits as we come up with our rating because we got a jet in like five minutes. Yeah. All right, we're going to be rating in a scale of one through ten. And decimals are encouraged. Ready, mm -hmm. set, three, two, one. Brrrr, ding! 8.2. I'm sorry, you were not. Let's try that one more time. There was like an oink. I wasn't ready. You oinked a little bit at the oink. start of yours. Brrrr, ding! <laughs> 9.3. Uh, okay, I said 8.2. Wow, that's yeah. kind of low. That's, that's above an 8. I would rewatch it. Well, yeah, but I don't know, that's kind of low. Okay. Let's, Let's talk help. about it really quickly. We're going to do story, characters, and then music. In three minutes. In three minutes. We got to go. <laughs> I would have given it much higher, and I think people can just anticipate where there are some issues in this movie. It's once she started doing the telekinesis. Maybe that's part of the original story. If it is cute, I get it. The other children were being inspired by Matilda without her having the superpower. And then in act three, somehow the superpower shows up, which is an odd thing to also do in a story to add a new element to your main character in act three. I thought that that was an element of just being a child, but then she actually does it. Versus her so superpower being that she's creative and she can tell stories. So it was something odd to add in your third act just from a writing perspective. And you didn't need it to accomplish the things that she did as being a leader for all the other children, inspiring them to stand up and inspiring Miss Honey. However, the, it's not just Matilda, it's Roald Dahl's Matilda. So I'm taking from that, that it's part of the actual story. I don't know the original story. However, I do think that this could have been stronger without it, especially because if you take it out, it doesn't do anything. Well, I think I think the only thing it's there for, in my estimation, is that it gives magic to kids. It, it helps foster the imagination. You don't need to give them magic so they can explore their imagination. That's the problem, that they were all already doing all these cool dance moves. When he was eating the cake, they're all having all this fun stuff behind Miss Trunchbull's back. It was so cool, it was so imaginative. Beautiful cinematography, choreography. Choreography, that's yeah, the right word. That sounded weird, it tasted weird coming out. And then you have bad CGI. Like every time she was doing telekinesis, it looked so cheap and it was so dark. And then Miss Trunchbull's being thrown by her pigtails and you're like, mm -hmm. I like the pigtails being, Made. being braided. Right, yeah, right. I like that. I think the story worked. Well, was... It was amazing up until telekinesis, and then that's where I'm taking points off from. So, even if it goes back to the original story, I would say that is a weak part of the story. Yes, you can have magic and all that stuff. I don't think that was the strongest choice on the author's part. So I agree that that is something to take points off or not build up to. I think the story was amazing aside from that one thing. That's that's where I'm... Truly, truly. I thought they hit every single button that needed to be hit. 
Um, I also like the fact, now this goes into character a bit, but I like Go the fact it. that the story didn't dwell on the parents. You've got enough of the parents to understand her backstory and why she needs to rebel. And I think we have to credit the actors too, because the second they're on screen, you're like, I know exactly who these people are as parents. Um, and it's just, people. They're, they are, every actor here brought their absolute top game. Yeah. And it is so wonderful to see that, especially for a movie musical where so many of them don't work. Mm. That you're just like, ooh, not not really, you know, this person's, you know, phoning it in or just collecting a paycheck. But everyone here really operated. And what I really credit this story for is that Matilda's beeline story with creating the story for the librarian, that that was Miss Honey's backstory. I don't know if that's the original, but that is some god tier writing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And the fact that they kind of coalesce in Act Three and then She's helping Miss Honey, Miss Honey's helping her, and then it kind of blows up into this whole revolt. Oh, it was just beautiful. And on top of that, and I'm just gonna jump into the music really quickly, and stick my toe in it, that the music also propelled the story in those moments. It did that. Oh, oh, it was so good. And the, the number of reprises, I actually have a theory. I'll share it here. I was gonna go do some research, but I'll just share it if y'all wanna do some research yourselves. That the successful musical, movie musicals that we know are movie musicals that have one specific element. The reprise. The reprise. Every single movie that has a reprise, that at least when I was going through in my head, that has a reprise, it is super successful. Not saying that movies that don't have reprises are gonna be unsuccessful, but you're more likely to be successful with a movie with a reprise because I think people emotionally can latch on to the emotional. message. Reprises are emotional. And they're actually part of the the um, the standard book musical formula. Yeah. You have you really formula have to is have a good them. word. Yeah. The, but it is an emotional coming back. You right. would never have a reprise just to bring the song back. Right. In, in And the, often the lyrics change. And in this movie when when matilda was by herself in those like despairing moments she's singing her initial song in slower i don't know if it went into minor key i wasn't listening for that kind of stuff but i was just like this is so beautifully constructed because you're allowing the character to have just an aside with their with themselves but with their original song coming back again it's just it's so touching yeah. and i think it allows this movie to operate at a sophisticated level mm -hmm. which other movies don't so I appreciate that they did it, and they did it several times because Miss Honey also had a reprise. Yeah. Which I vibe with. I vibe with Miss Honey as a character. Mm -hmm. Lashana Lynch, you are perfect. I can't wait to see everything that you do. She's the kind of actor that I would back and see everything she does. And to do both these roles, Woman King role and this role in one year? And she was in James Bond last year, I wow, think. Wow, wow. She's, she's fire. She's amazing. And she can sing? Come on. She sings well enough. She sings well enough. You need to explain yourself. We will not accept any Lashana Lynch. Who is the vocal coach? You are, here? that's why I said you gotta explain yourself because <laughs> the audience might what? be coming at me for telekinesis, but they're gonna come at you for Lashana Lynch. <laughs> She's not a polished singer. She can she can sing nicely. She sings gorgeously. She sings okay, nicely. Help my untrained ears she doesn't, understand. She, she's not supporting her sound. Of course, it's a movie musical, and you can't really just sing out all the time as you would on stage. Uh, however, you still can use a little bit more of your voice. And I don't know after watching her that she can. Hmm. I'm, I was wanting to hear just a little bit more of the, the core of her sound, and she wasn't giving it to me. She was giving me more skimming her voice. It was croony and in a very skim-like way. So I, I was waiting for the, the Cynthia Erivo moment and I didn't get that. Mm. If I had to go back and rework a piece of it, it would be Emma Thompson singing. Because so much of it was, she and I know it's the could. character. She did what she could. I know she did what she could, but there needed to be some musicality to the grunt work of Miss Trumbull. And maybe that's how it's written, but I would love to hear some, an actress who adds some like lick of a melody to it. It was just very put, and not even the Patter song, her first she song had, too. Well, she had, okay, you wanna talk about the music, not just the singing. Yeah, I think the music and the characters are just one segment the, at this point. The, There's two things about the music. Um, now that you say the music and the characters, yeah, it is one segment. Singing aside, Emma Thompson brought as much voice as I, I ever heard her do, especially at a low range and a grunt range. And I, I was very impressed and I, couldn't expect from her anymore. She doesn't have that kind of an instrument. 
So for her to have done what she did, I think was amazing. Yet you're right, that character could have had a bit more coming from it, but that's not her voice. She didn't have that instrument. Right. But, but wow, wow, how that that character, mm. the acting. The acting was incredible. Superb. I was terrified <laughs> by her. Yeah. I mean, but when she's saying, it's 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 a it was a fine line. It was when we're acting. I don't even feel that she is separate from this character. I would feel she is this woman. Mm. Then when she'd sing, I'm like, you are trying to do this. But when you have it compared with Matilda, who was just firecracker on every cylinder, acting, singing, dancing, all the whole movie. Yeah. She is amazing. Then you have her, her antagonist, who is amazing acting, you take at least it took me out a little bit on the singing, and a then you have a little bit, and then you have Miss Honey come in, who is also amazing with the acting, and I thought singing because she was acting through the singing. I didn't, maybe that's it. I didn't feel Emma Thompson. I didn't feel she was acting through her singing. She, she was, was kind of just like delivering she words. She was, and I think she had to compromise some of that to get the sound of the character. Yeah, the, yeah. So I, I, I wonder about that. But music, however. I find in this show lacking. There's not enough melody. They rely a little bit too much on on two lines of music uh, in counterpoint. One of the best kinds of writing is when each character has a kind of different style or you mm -hmm. write it differently for the character. Each one of these songs was kind of written the same musically. Mm. It, it relied on rhythm. It didn't have expressive melodies. It, it relied on lyrics. The music allowed the lyrics to live. However, you don't go singing any of the tunes, you know, there's, you wouldn't have an overture of these songs. You wouldn't leave the theater singing most of these songs, maybe a lick of a song, but not mm. a whole song. I, what's running through my head right now, what's running through yours is, when I grow up, Yeah, that's what's that's, running through my head. Okay, so there's that, and then there's the ballad for Miss Honey. What I didn't find effective was the final song of the movie. I think it was a reprise. I couldn't really pick up on it. Mm -hmm. And I did not like that in that very last moment when they said, hold your hand, there wasn't like a, a one hand go down and then the other hand come in. It was, it was both hands simultaneous and it was in real time. Miss Honey and then they shot Matilda. And I guess that it is her movie, so it's you want to end on her face. Her movie. But what if you ended on the handshake? Like what is that, what does that communicate? However, to me, putting them together puts them on equal footing. Miss Honey is a child. She grew. She never grew up. She said, "When I grow up," in her song. Yeah. When she had her moment of the "When I Grow Up" song, which is beautiful. It, it, but it told, that, that, it, that told me, it told me right in that moment. I feel like we're like talking at each other because that was such an important moment. That was such an important moment. Let me finish. What it told me was, she has childhood trauma. She's mm. living an, as an adult without ever having released her trauma. Is anyone not? <laughs> Well, I mean, Matilda is going to has a little advantage here at her age to now grow up having having asserted herself because she fought against the system. Yeah. Which is what I've been saying this whole time. Okay, Miss Honey didn't get that opportunity. So, they're on equal footing. They're 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 two children at the end. So, what do you think about ending the final shot with the handshake? I probably like it a little more too. What I understood was Matilda the musical. The musical. Right. That's what. That's the image I had in my head. Was like the it, instead of the words, we got her face. Yeah. Um, I do think that we need to credit the fact that the music also allowed for the audience to think about if you're a child, like when I grow up, I want to eat candy and stay up late. And I was like, I also thought of those things. And now I'm like, I can't eat candy all the time because I need to take care of my teeth. So. All these things that a child would listen and be like, yeah, you better believe when I'm older, I'm going to be doing all these things. And then a big kid can think and say, yeah, I used to think those same things. So it's a it's a nice transporting song. And, and everybody could relate to it. Right. Um, and yeah, it was a pure fantasy song. And these children were not allowed to be children. Mm. That's why they needed to have a song to say, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. You know, and... You, you okay there? What? This is what I want. Dale, the child mascot. Yeah. <laughs> the things that my I do drama, want... I haven't released my drama. It's okay, we'll go to therapy. One, before, before I forget, I just need to say one thing. That A, B, C, D, E, F, G song was so good! So good! 
I've never heard anyone, and, and it unravels itself like a beautiful Christmas present. <laughs> that it's just like, oh, here's the gift, and you're like, oh, cute, a song. And then as you unravel it, you're like, wait a minute. And it's like, A, B, C, D, E, and it's just, it got better and better the more you listened, and I've never heard anything like that in my life. It's on par with the mastery of- Do, Re, Mi. No. Oh yeah, Do, Re, Mi was also really good from Yes. The sound of music. Yes, I take However. back now. And also... Um, I was kind of joking, because that's a, not the same complexity of this. Yeah, it wasn't, but it, it said yes and to that song. Yeah, okay. And the other song is the the sergeant guy who sings a patter song. Oh, I'm the very model of yeah, Major General. Yeah, Major General, from yes. Pirates, that's right. as cool as listening to that for the first time, but times a million. So that song just you know, is one of the reasons why it wasn't less than eight, because I was like, I could listen to that for the rest of my life. Mm. And the dancing and, and the fact to. that they have children doing all this choreo, like I commend them, just like we commended the Santa Claus for having children on screen and going through all that effort and their delivery was great. Um, so that's one thing I want to say. And then the last thing I have to say tonight is Chokey. I am really wrestling with this concept as a pediatrician. To even put it on screen is very, and I know it's entertainment and we all just like gloss over it. It is concerning to me because, especially with social media, we've learned about a lot of horrible parents out there. Like I don't even think we can call them parents who abuse their children and like come to light and share that they were chained to beds. And I don't want to get graphic. It's just to put that in a movie, and I know it's vilified, it's just, I always question like movies that talk about really horrible events, whether or not it puts ideas in people's minds. Or does it release some of the traumas that people experience? I don't know, and that's why, that, that's that's why a, I'm wrestling that's, with that's it. That's a big debate. It's not just yeah. this thought. That's a big debate that's been out for years. That's why I'm wrestling with it, because I, and then even to resemble it with forcing this child to eat cake. I, I think on the superficial level, it's like, ha, 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 you know, he's gonna show her and all this stuff. And it was just uncomfortable for me. He did show see. her, but I, I would have wanted to see that there was some ramification for it, that he got sick or something, mm. that, you know, that this mm. was a bad thing. So that, exactly, because they kind of just like gloss over this very unhealthy thing that she forced him. Whenever children are forced to do things, I, I quiver. Because what is it communicating to all watchers? Mm -hmm. So that's just a little piece for you to chew on. Because that... So to speak. It was... Uh, that's all, folks! <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoyed the movie. Thank you all so much for recommending it for us. And I will watch it again. And mm -hmm. it's such a feel-good movie. And you better believe we're going to cover some of them songs. <laughs> We're going to sing some of them songs. All right, y'all. Tell us what you thought about it down below. And as always, be safe, be strong, be swagged. God bless you. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you and yours. Stay safe during this time. Wear your masks and keep the arts in your hearts. Keep music in your heart. That's true. And Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy every year. flavor of the holiday season. Ciao. Bye. Bye.